Hello everyone. Uh, just, I guess this would be part two of the shop update. So as you can see on this wall here, I got all the, all the pine tongue groove on it. I also uh, had to reframe up this little section here. Don't want to talk about that, but it's all insulated that part. Oh, got my stove up. Let's see if we can get this right. It's a uh, Hearthstone soapstone stove it's a uh, i mean it's not in the brand new condition but it'll work and it's gonna be good for the space because it's gonna heat up really well soapstone stone soapstone really holds in the heat and it's not gonna take up space as far as you know depth wise in in the shop itself so got that um and i guess that's where it's gonna go, is right there. Uh, I'm gonna have, and that's got, I got my inch space between the concrete board and the wall there. And uh, I'm gonna put a half a sheet of the concrete board on the floor, so that'll be out. And then I'll probably tile it with a slate stone and then do some type of maybe fake, fake stone on the wall part. And then so far, oh, biggest thing is, the ceiling up there uh the foam board's coming out and spray foam insulation is coming in i got a i found a local guy he's gonna do two inches of uh, spray foam closed cell spray foam to get me by so far and that'll be and this is roughly 420 square feet something like that so it's just gonna cost me just over a thousand dollars to do that so i'm pretty pretty happy with that and then go from there um, that way get the wood stove hooked up, get some better heat and stuff running propane. Cause that, that isn't, that isn't cheap. That's for sure. Um, the, where the miter saw is, that's pretty much where it's going to stay as far. I mean, the stand's not going to stay there, but that's where my miter saw station is going to be right about there. And, you know, just going to go from there. Biggest thing is just getting this getting this all ready and prepared for spray foam. That way there's not a bass everywhere. And then start, uh, that way I can get the heat in and keep this place a little warmer so it won't be so bad. Um, it won't be so bad to, you know, work in here. I won't have to worry about burning a bunch of propane. And that's about it, I think. And then, oh... Then I'll probably bring some of my saddle hunting stuff up and we'll go through a whole, a full breakdown of my sticks, how I got my sticks, my saddle go over through everything, my platform, all that, all that stuff. So this video isn't really long or anything like that, which is, you know, it's fine. And then, um, I can't remember. I do have my, I do have my outlets for my ceiling lights going up. I just got temporary work lights in here for right now. So other than that, that's it. Uh, thanks for, you know, watching. And I'll keep you guys posted on the other stuff. I still have uh, a little bit, little bit of time, you know, for late ar archery season and stuff like that. So I'll probably have some more, more sits in the saddle. But other than that, that's all I got. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.